Hey boys, welcome back to some uh, Legends competition here. Round 7 of of the comp and taking on Manly Seagulls in this in this encounter. I don't know why that uh that just skipped. I must have <laughs> I must have gone back and and did something. But here we go. It's uh, unfortunately we are playing at uh at Brookie, I think, and uh it's raining. Unfortunately, you know, I the weather, the weather effects and all that are, are nice in the game, but you, you gotta be honest, like, you just rather play in the nice, clear, clear skies. It looks better, and it's just more, it's more conducive to some, to some good football. But you know, that, that's the way the game is. We gotta, we gotta, you know, plan accordingly and play to the conditions. Uh, we do like to attack with this team, but unfortunately, Darren Lockyer, outside of the boot, he was on a weird angle, had to sort of, Go the old banana there, and uh, it's just gone out on the full. We had the win perfect, but yeah, just a bit, just a uh, bit, a bit too much off with that, with that kick. But last play here, the Seagulls gonna put in a little kick across field to Jaboyevich. I thought he had the ball, uh, but Steve Ranoff gets back and saves the day for us right there. As Corazia now straight through, so first stands in this game where uh, we're put to the test straight away in defence as uh, that man Tom Jaboyevich. Just one on one with Renoff. It was a, it was good, good solid hit in defence, but just uh, the momentum there just took him over the line, and unfortunately he just got there. And uh, opening try to Manly, a couple of back to back sets. It's pretty hard, you know. The defence a lot of times is easy, but on the try line like that, a couple of sets in a row, it's gonna be, it's difficult to hold them out. It's Gordon Tallis here, the big fella, straight through. Uh, good scramble by the Seagulls, but. Finally, get a chance with the ball and showing what we can do with it. As Lockyer, beautiful kick back across field, but it's just going to be... It was a bit of a ricochet in there. Tom Trebojevich is going to end up with it. Thankfully, Churchill has got the uh, speed to round him up, but yeah, a bit unfortunate right there. Just the kick, it was it was dangerous. It was, it was pinballing around. Um, somehow, it landed in Tommy's lap and he raced away, but the Seagulls on the back of that get a chance to further attack and uh, that man again Trebojevic, he's going to be a nightmare all game, I can already already feel it just uh, breaking tackles left, right and centre, but the kick goes up, Churchill underneath it, thankfully takes the mark and uh, we survived that one, so it's been a bit bit worrying it's right there, <laughs> I panicked a little bit with that offload, I couldn't believe he didn't drop it, so we're just going to take the tackle with uh, with Lewis I think, uh, getting through the gap making good ground as the uh, long ball out there, another offload <laughs> Playing with fire with those, but uh, it, it did pay off once again as uh, Lockyer spins it wide to Renolf onto Reg Gaznia down the sideline. Puts in the, the grubber in behind. It's four tackles, so another bad little option. And uh, I thought we were going to pin him in goal, but somehow he gets out. Uh, I was fairly frustrated with that. It was a good little kick, but uh, this time Renolf gets out of the line and uh, drives, of all people, minds of power backwards. So, <laughs> but... Uh, Really good defense, um, beautiful by Ranoff, and this time Ranoff gets the pass away. Beautiful play, Steve Ranoff just uh, changing the game for us. A good hole run, and then uh, skips a little step, passes it. Yuate, <laughs> Yuate probably should have got the intercept, but he was sort of eyes for the man and wasn't really watching the ball. So we we hit back there. Darren Lockyer converts to make it six all. And it's been a not a bad game, honestly. Only six apiece, but. Uh, I think it's been a pretty, pretty uh, solid first half by uh, by both teams in the wet conditions. Honestly, as uh, Darren Lockyer kicks early again here against the wind. Unfortunately, the kick is going to hold up there. But uh, a great chase by Lewis. Unfortunately, uh, no one else is really chasing through. So Yate or Yuate gets a gets a few extra meters. He probably shouldn't have. But tack to the right side as uh, Burge gets it off to uh, Melman Ninga and. Uh, I thought Tafua was going to round him up for a second there. Obviously, Meninga takes a little bit to wind up, but when he uh, when he got into top gear, he wasn't going to be caught by Tafua chasing him. And uh, a great start to the second half. It's uh, the first half. We're sort of a bit back to front this game. Usually, we attack the uh, the right side in the first half, and then we we sort of come better in the second half, attacking the the left side. But uh, we've changed it up, and. Uh, Mel Meninga gets a nice catch there, put in a little kick by, uh, I don't know who it was, didn't see it, but uh, a great 
bit of uh, play on the last tackle, pinning them inside their own five meter line. You know, couldn't get the try, but pretty much got the next best option. But uh, right there, was actually a really nice play by the Seagulls. Uh, if they didn't kick it, he was straight through the gap. But yeah, I raced that out of the line looking to put the, uh, the tackle on. Then nice little inside pass to Matthew Wright, who should have just went through the gap. Um, he shouldn't have kicked it, but uh, yeah, it was it was good play. You know, the AI sometimes do smart things like that. So I'm, I'm just hoping for the next game they, they really fine-tune the AI because it is there. Like, the AI does do clever things. It's just for some reason they just they don't take the right options or the smart options most of the time. So, yeah, I, I, I just... I don't know how it works. I don't know how it works because, yeah, it's obviously in the game, but coming up to full time, we've only got that six-point lead, so it's still a little, a little worrying. Alan Langer is on the field now. Churchill on last play is going to run it. Meninga puts in a little chip kick, and E.T. of all people, well, not of all people, he's he's the winger. He uh, <laughs> gets the catch. A, uh, a fairly nice try. Meninga with a little bit of footwork here, and uh, the winger E.T., just uh, Tom Dubojevic sort of, I don't know, a bit of bit of rain gets in his eyes. <laughs> he couldn't see the ball. It went straight over his head. And uh, we score a nice try as Darren Lockyer just shaves the op upright and converts the goal. As uh, last couple of minutes, we're going to attack off the scrum here. Why not? Just uh, throw it around. Put in a little kick by E.T. again. Probably, probably shouldn't have done that. Bit of a rush of blood. But last, I thought it might have been last play of the game. Still had a couple more seconds, but that is going to be a, uh, a fairly solid win. George Tafu is going to make a break, but a, uh, a good win in the conditions. I thought Manly played pretty strong, but yeah, we uh, we uh, we came good. And it was, a, it was a good overall match as we look at the completions. That is outstanding. <laughs> outstanding for the wet. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time.